Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I am actually in a hotel right now for work but because of the snow we are delayed so I'm just going to record for a bit but that does mean I have to be quiet um so we're back to ASMR videos I guess and I was looking at the list and I was talking with somebody in the comments about some of these collectibles uh and I think I would like to do the relic ones apparently that's supposed to be an interesting one so i'd like to get all the relics i would like to get the rebel camps this current one that i'm at is really kicking my butt and it's frustrating <laughs> um i'm not gonna do the melee pits probably that one apparently has something pretty cool but i'm i'm not about melee fighting i'm just not maybe i'd do it on a different playthrough i'm not doing the hunting grounds that one was confirmed to not have a very interesting um, what do we call it? Reward. Um, but right now, besides all of that, that's all great and well, but we're not going to worry about that right now. I would like to do the second verse. I'm not going to worry about that bandit camp. It was frustrating. Instead, I am going to go here. Because even though I talked to Zoe, she didn't say anything, so I'm going to see. Hopefully, it says I can go back and talk to her, but I talked to her like twice, I swear, when I was there, and she didn't say anything. So, maybe I had to leave and come back? I don't know, it's a little weird. I'm also stalling, I'm absolutely stalling, on the freaking Ted Farrow stuff, because just thinking about him makes me anxious and stressed and angry, and I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> Even though having it hovering there is also like, uh, you know, um, but we'll do a few things. I'd like to get the tall neck that I can if I can kill those stupid, stupid, stupid things. <laughs> the stealth panthers. But yeah, let's go see if we can talk. It says I can, so here, here I am hoping I am so lost. Also, I should go check out, um, I could get new, uh, face paint. I've been wearing this one for a while. I like it. But I think I got a couple new ones recently. And I do actually want to go talk to that guy who um, was like, I can make you a sweet armor set. And I was like, oh? Pray tell? We'll see. I'm pretty sure it was the guy. And it's the one that Kotalo actually mentions i'm pretty sure also my icon because today is actually oh by the way this this video isn't going to go up today but as of today recording it has been one year since horizon forbidden west was released my phone actually popped up with a picture of me taking a selfie with the screen with like the me because i got up i got the digital version so i got it before my friend who got a physical copy so i took a picture like a selfie of me with it of, of the game just to like mess with him um, so that popped up on my feed today, and they gave, today they have a bunch of, um, icons. I think they have, like, 11 icons from, like, the main characters, and I have had Aloy from Horizon and Zero Dawn as my icon forever, um, and today I switched it to Kotalo, because <laughs> he's my favorite. <laughs> I thought about putting it as Aloy again, but I thought I should change things up, you know? Was that flirting or was that reconciliation? Everybody's got exclamation points. What the heck? Let's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. Yes, yes. Uh, how are things with Catalo? You still scared? Her? <laughs> oh, she thinks she's. I fine. do, I do. Actually, I played strike with him. At the fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. I'm so <laughs> glad to hear <you. laughs> But I'm still alive. Always an achievement. <laughs> You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back, and she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. He would love sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in in one game or another are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale i bet half the claim will be lining up to watch 
Salty food and fresh ale. That's exactly that's exactly how it goes. <laughs> oh, dude, the Osram would love like football and stuff like that. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need? I would really love to have you come out with me. Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself. This is actually really frustrating, and it's one of the little things about this game that actually frustrates me, is that like, they tease you with having companions, and then they just put them in a box and let you come talk to them periodically. And like, I don't know, it feels like a waste of their time and talents. I mean, they're learning new things, like that's fair. But um, I really do wish I could have people come out with me, like, on, you know. The old ones like to dance. I don't know. Well, they didn't have two left feet, like I do. I could teach you. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I'm the forge. Find him. You leave me alone. No, I don't know. Like, it's, it's just, it's a little tiny bit frustrating. I wish we could bring him out. Um, cause I, I feel really bad. Honestly, I thought this game was going to be about Aloy, like learning that she doesn't have to do everything on her own, that she can have people with her. And maybe that's going to kind of happen in the end, but like, I don't know. I thought we were going to learn to like spread the, what do you call it? Like the, the responsibility a bit. Like Aloy is not the only person who can do this. We have Beta now, you know, she could run around putting her face on things and using her voice to activate things. So I thought with the reveal of Beta, we were going to be getting Aloy having a bit of a crisis being like, oh, I'm not the only one anymore. And like being torn between like, you know, maybe relief and also like jealousy a little bit. Not like necessarily jealousy, but like at least a little bit of like, you know, when you are like the one person who can save the world or whatever, or think you are, like, she's doing it for good reasons, but there's still a bit of, I think, a little bit of, like, not ego, but maybe a little ego, kind of, is not really the word I'm looking for, but, I don't know. Or, like, surprise, if nothing else. Surprise. Just being like, oh, like, her whole worldview, I feel, would change. Or she is not the only one anymore. There's there's somebody else who can do kind of what she does, at least with the face and voice thing. Beta's obviously not, like, warrior-like at all. But I don't know. Yeah, I just was kind of hoping, you know, especially from the beginning when, like, you had... Um, Aaron being upset that you wouldn't let him help and like Varl wants to help. Everybody wants to help and it's frustrating to me that they're constantly offering and I can't say yes. Aloy always says no and it's it's frustrating. Like I wish you could have the choice of like having a companion run around with you or not. Like there's obviously quests in the game where companions help you where like, uh, where, like you get like a temporary companion and they come out with you and sometimes it's annoying, yes, but like it's also, you know, it's been it's kind of nice especially if you could have your own friends with you i don't know maybe i just i just play too many bioware games aloy you're here did you meet with the quen already no not yet after all the trouble you went through getting those sub functions it seems unfair you have to deal with these quen on, on your own on your too. own it's no so it's back. not it's aloy i think i'm so back or something oh like that's that. right they won't hurt me but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone That's else. That's true. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. I mean, I could be like, I am Sobek, leave my friends alone. If I get Omega Clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder Oh my jaws. gosh. Better them than us. Yes, once. that would be super nice to have somebody else on the other end of that. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. Okay. And risk Zoe coming after Mom. me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about <sighs> how he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved I him. I am. He definitely was a piece of work. <laughs> I'm gonna rage. I'm gonna rage. Well, Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, mm -hmm. and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. 
trying to change everybody's worldviews so drastically, especially like deeply held religious beliefs that help them make sense of the world is, I almost, I, I feel bad, honestly. Like people cling to these belief systems and they have little tiny bits of truth in all of them, you know? Um, but like, I don't know. How do you expect people to just up and change everything that fast? Like change doesn't happen quickly over throughout like the, I mean relatively quickly compared to like a geologic time scale humanity changes very quickly but like it takes hundreds of years sometimes for people to like change their minds like the enlightenment didn't happen in a day you know the a current age of skepticism didn't happen in a day it takes a long time it's hundreds of years and or up you know even up to like you know decades you know so just like we're gonna have to find a way to like not just throw it all on them I don't know and I again like I have an immense respect for like a, the variety of religions and like cultures that build themselves around it or vice versa and like tearing that down feels very icky to me honestly like i'm not i'm not i don't want to like be like guess what your religious beliefs were wrong it was kind of an issue in dragon age inquisition where you realize that like the elves have been like the dalish elves anyway have been very wrong about their religious beliefs for a very long time at least according to what we know currently and so it's like, oh, that felt kind of, you know, it's like, oh, like it feels kind of icky to be like, guess what? Your entire religious structure is based off of incomplete evidence. And like, I don't know, it feels bad. It feels bad. Like, I don't, I don't like it. I don't really like it. I'm going to stop. I'll be in touch. I'm going to find anything. <laughs> we'll be ready. Everyone's been briefed on the pulse generators as well. And this feels even more rapid, where at least in the elves and Inquisition, you feel like, they have truths, like more truths than they do here in Horizon, um, but like they still, like there is there is potentially more truth to the tales than there is here anyway, you know? Um, honestly, I'd really love to watch like a religious, Apparently religious it studies. Apparently worse the longer it takes to be delivered, <laughs> or something like that. I'd love to hear like a religious studies person potentially do this. I mean, I'm obviously like anthropologically trained and I can do a little bit, but it would be fascinating to like actually dive in. for me personally. I would love to dive in depth into these games and like study like the progression of like, you know, how information creates like religion, like certain information and worldviews create religions and cultures that base themselves around this and like it's really fascinating to them. But I think it was just flat bread <laughs> with cheese and some sauce. I like it already. Yes, the the Osirum would love it. Aloy, I hear you're going further west past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. Mm. It is said the old ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would mm -hmm. do. It really freaking does. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's do this. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? There's always Katalo. <laughs> Leave a loud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? Also, Zoe, you don't have to be the mom. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I think she's not like, it's not like this, uh, what is it? Like, it's not like a presumptuous thing, but I think she really does, it's like falling into that whole, oh, the woman has to take care of everybody role, like, subconsciously. Um, so that's a, that's a little bit frustrating. It's like, no, just do whatever you want. <laughs> you don't have to be the one. Making sure everybody's okay. They're all full grown men. They're all full grown. They're adults. If they make mistakes, that's their problem. <laughs> What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that We can light basement. up the basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. It would take a long time. You'd have to have extreme patience. How much have you read on Ted Farrell? <laughs> Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. 
For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. Both. But mostly hate. Mostly hate. And what do you mean, heal the world? He wasn't trying to fix anything. He was trying to make a profit the entire time. He saw a market for that, that needed, like, what is it, like, um, like, healing essentially, essentially, like, climate issues. Um, but he also, and, but he, we, we've learned that even with getting, like, Demeter, right? Where, like, he didn't care if it was gonna, like, work or if it needed more time. He just wanted something out there as fast as possible to make a profit. You know? Like, he doesn't... He didn't have any good intentions, ever. Maybe when he was a kid. I don't know. You can't be evil your whole life, I guess. But, like, as an adult, he made choices. And and he was so narrow-minded and so, like, blindered. You know? Like, he had blinders on. And all he focused on was himself and his image as, like, a hero. But actually, all he was after was profit and money and appearance. And he was the one facilitating war. He was the one creating machines that were going to go out, and kill more people, or at least, you know, destroy more landscapes. And then he also has the gall to be like, oh, here's also, like, he, he what, what is it? Like, what is it? It's, um, you'll be, you'll, you'll never, you'll never, what is it, be hungry a day in, in your life if you can, like, you know, feed them, arm them, and bury them. Like, that was, I, I know I'm not saying that totally right, but that was his model, right? Where he's like, oh yeah, I'll definitely clean up the environment. And then I'll also propagate war. And then I can clean up after war with my machines too. How crazy is that? How crazy that I have a monopoly on all of this? Oh my gosh, See, this is why This is why I don't want to play the Ted Barrow part yet. Because I'm going to freaking lose my mind. And I'm also not as eloquent as I would like to be on the subject. And it's... <laughs> I'm so angry. I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the old Ooh, world. that's a nice way to look at it. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now just as it did before. That's actually a really beautiful way to look at it. Holy cow. I like Zoe. I almost made my icon Zoe. I might switch it to Zoe because she's super cool. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered I know where off. one is. So, T, and Do. We have to find I know them. where one is. No, we know where they are, but they're hard to It's reach. underwater. So, wandered yeah. into the lake and sink. <laughs> Doe ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay. Tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Doe. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. This is cool. My people made shrines near where each land god fought. I remember seeing that one. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not going to let your people starve, so I promise. Woohoo! Let's go. Oh, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm going to need everyone's help. We'll be ready. It's just like Horizon Zero Dawn where everybody shows up at the end.